by the person who is claiming the payment or is a breach of that provision. Either way, I would say that uh, I have not seen any interest by the government in saying we are being asked to fulfill our obligations. What about the obligations of the vendor? Hmm. Uh, this argument is very clear. The obligations of the vendor are known. The obligations of the purchaser are known. But I invite you to look at the actual facts on the ground. If it was a situation where government was entering into this transaction before it took possession, before it looked at the titles, my opinion would have been different. But in this case, government is in possession, actually an interrupted possession. Two, government has the land titles in the names of the vendor. Uh, at the top of the page, there is sale of estate as a title. But if you look at the history, mm. D states as a fact. Yes. <clears throat> in 1977, Barclays Bank sold the above described property mm. to Dr. Bure Tasa Sam Mohammed. Yes. As a mortgagee, the bank and the land title deeds and all attendant documents. All the evidence we've heard from Dr. Kasasa himself and everybody is that the bank did not sell any land. It was not Barclays Bank which mm. sold it. Apparently, he bought it from a company or somebody purporting to represent a company called Lakeview Properties Limited. That's his own evidence. So, what I wonder when uh, an opinion has something that is factually wrong, like this. Who says it is factually wrong? Well, the, the person who the, the person who, who sold the land. The institutional the memory land. I found on mm. the file mm. attest to these facts as they are. I have in possession mm. documentary evidence that by the time the government dealt with Kasasa, he was the lawful owner being the registered proprietor. The registration of the act is very clear. Mm. But you know that fraud, and, fraud vitiates the... Uh, even register proprietorship. I know, but it has not yes. been proved. Mm. The, the thing is mm. that we had sufficient evidence, the, the Solicitor General then had sufficient evidence mm. to base his opinion and he issued it. What evidence was that? The seller agreement, certificates of title in the names of the seller, uh, part payment, uh, execution and part payment by government. Blastly, but not uh, importantly, mm. the fact that the government